Hello ladies and gentlemen In today's video I'm gonna show you guys a trick how to use the rain USB of your touch mouse and keyboard doesn't work so after creating a dual boot rain USB okay as you've seen in the previous tutorial like you would go to options you can delete this then you would go back to graphic injector and check inject until and then you would start your dual boot system so I'm just gonna wait for it so uh, my device is updated to 13.3 so unfortunately uh, the iCloud bypass doesn't work anymore but I'm gonna make another tutorial show you guys uh, what are the recent tweaks that have been done but it's not a permanent solution so far so that's gonna be my next video at the moment so as you see, I have only two USB ports for my laptop, and many of us does. So when I boot to the RAIN USB, my keyboard and mouse stop functioning. It's like both of them, the touch mouse pad doesn't work, and the keyboard does not work. And I believe it's all it has to do with the KDEX and configuration. They're just not. It's like the the software is not configured specifically for my laptop, but it's not a problem as long as the external USB mouse works fine. And even the external keyboard, if you have a USB keyboard, you can plug it in. But as you see here, like the mouse, let me show you. The mouse is up there, it's not moving, you cannot move it, nothing works. So, what you would do, what I did is, I bought a dual USB port for like 15 bucks from Best Buy, you can get it for 10 bucks from Walmart. It has four ports, you plug it in, then you can plug your USB, you can plug the mouse USB, I even have my external drive on it. It's only 2.0 and it's surprisingly working good, like very good. Anyhow, on the other side you see, because I'm gonna jailbreak the phone, like it's recommended to use the direct port. You know what I mean? Anyhow, if you only have a mouse and you don't have a keyboard, that's not a problem. That's what this video is for, okay? So you would use your USB mouse to see it works fine. If you like I said, if you have a USB keyboard, that's a plus, but it's not really necessary in this case. You hit next, select whatever language you want, and it's running slowly because you see the USB light kind of blinking because, as you see, it's plugged in. And a dual USB, so it kind of runs a little bit slow, but it's not a big deal. Anyhow, ugh, I went too far. Okay, back. I'm gonna go back again. All right. So, first thing first, you hit continue. Then I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. There is rain USB in here. Like, it took me a long time to figure this out, but in the end of the day, I just figured it out. So, after I bought the dual USB, to be honest, because I couldn't run my USB mouse while running, you know, the dual boot, and I had to plug in the phone, so it's it's a problem. You can't, you can't jailbreak the phone. Anyhow, you copy this, okay? Then, you go to Utility, Terminal. Then you paste whatever you copied in here. Then you would go to edit and go 
go down to marks and you can hit either of these two. See them? Uh, let me zoom in. You can see it clearly. There you go. Mark line, instant return. It does it. I mean, it's the same thing. Anyhow, point is you would pull up check rain. So you would check verbose boot. Okay. Hit start. Next. So while it's entering the recovery mode remotely, which is really cool by the team who made this jailbreak. Okay, now it takes us to set up the DFU mode. So before hitting start, be ready because like it moves so quick, not like the regular DFU mode. So once you hit start, you cl click on both volume down, lock button at the same time, then you release quickly, then you keep holding the volume down until it goes to DFU mode. Anyhow, there you go, start, disembolt, release, keep holding, then it's in DFU mode. So it is another trick. A lot of you, you know, face this problem, and uh, it's it shows you like you know, twenty error or whatever. Like a lot of people have in this USB error problem, but it's an easy fix. Believe me, it's as easy as unplugging, unplugging back again. There you go. That's it. You see, that's all I did. It's booting, jailbreaking, done. All you need is a USB mouse, unfortunately. And this problem is for those who have only two, specifically two USB ports only. You know, now it's jailbroken. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. I'm gonna make next video is gonna be about how to jailbreak the iOS 13.3 or 13.3.1. The beta version came out. Actually, beta 3 version came out this morning. So, anyhow, all of them still you can use check frame to jailbreak it. But the problem is by passing the iCloud, which I'm about to show some tweaks. So your phone would be usable in a way. Anyhow, see you next time. Bye.